Okay, so in this question, we have a copper ring and the diameter of the copper ring, let's call it D0 for the initial diameter, is equal to 2.54000 centimetres. Now, the thermal expansion co coefficient for copper is equal to 17 times 10 to the minus 6 per Kelvin and the specific heat for copper is equal to 387 joules per Kelvin per kilogram and we've got 20.0 grams of copper which is initially at 0 degrees C and then we have a sphere of aluminium this has an initial diameter, little d naught, of 2.54508 centimetres. It has some unknown mass. Its initial temperature is 100.0 degrees C. The thermal conductivity of aluminium is given by 24 times 10 to the minus 6. And the heat capacity of aluminium is given by 900 joules per Kelvin per kilogram. Okay, and we're asked to find this mass here. Now what we're going to need to do is answer this in two steps. We're going to need to first work out what the final temperature is, what the equilibrium temperature is at which this sphere will just fit through this ring here. Then what we can do is say that all the heat transferred from the aluminium goes into the copper and we can use that fact to work out the mass once we know the final temperature. Okay, so we know that at equilibrium, the diameter of the ring is equal to the diameter of the sphere. Now the diameter of the ring is equal to the initial diameter plus the thermal expansion coefficient for the copper times the initial diameter of the ring times the change in temperature which is the final temperature minus the initial temperature of the copper which is the zero degrees C. These are in degrees C but since it's a change in temperature that's fine. The final diameter of the sphere is given by the initial diameter of the sphere plus the thermal expansion for the sphere times the initial diameter times the final temperature minus 100. Now this is going to be a negative number because it's going to end up at a cooler temperature and so this will be smaller than D0. Okay, so now we can solve these simultaneously. We have D0 plus alpha copper D0 TF is equal to D0 plus alpha aluminium D0 TF minus 100 alpha aluminium D0 Okay, so let's just gather everything together with a final temperature. So this is alpha aluminium D0 minus alpha copper. Big D0 is equal to D0 minus D0 plus 100 alpha aluminium D0. Okay, so just substituting everything in, the final temperature is 2.54000 minus 2.54. 508 plus 100 times that's 24 times 10 to the minus 6 times 2.54508 all over 24 times 10 to the minus 6 times 2.54508 minus 17 times 10 to the minus 6 times 2.54000 zero. and now these are in centimeters but everything on the tops in centimeters as well so the centimeters is going to cancel out doesn't matter that we didn't convert to meters okay so this solving on the calculator is equal to 57.4347 degrees C we'll keep all our significant figures for now because this is just an intermediate step now what we need to do is we need to work out the mass so to do that we can go the heat flows from the aluminium to the copper. 
So the total heat flow for the system is zero. There's no heat flow, there's no overall heat flow into or out of the system. So what we have is the mass of copper times the heat capacity of copper times the change in temperature of the copper plus the mass of the aluminium times the heat capacity of the aluminium times the change in temperature of the aluminium is equal to zero. So substituting in, we're trying to get this mass of aluminium. The mass of the aluminium is equal to the mass of the copper. It's a negative sign. The mass of the copper, heat capacity of copper, change in temperature of the copper. So the, it goes to the te final temperature and it starts at zero over the heat capacity of the aluminium times the change in temperature. So that's Tf minus 100 for the aluminium. Okay, so if we, we can get this in grams by just substituting this in in grams. So we've got minus 20 times the heat capacity for copper, which is 387, times the final temperature, which is the 57.4347, over the heat capacity of the aluminium, which is equal to 900, times Tf, which is 57.4347 minus 100. So this is negative here, and that will cancel that negative there. Solving that on the calculator, we get 11.6 grams, and that's given to three significant figures, as 20.0 grams was to three significant figures, and that's really our lowest number of significant figures.